Hi guys, it's uh, it's Marcus, and I'm here to go through how we track animals using LogaOne and the Watson IoT platform. Um, so the goal here is to use lower sensors and lower gateways to track animals which are live around the rhinos to prevent poaching so that's one of the goals we are not actually tracking the rhinos themselves we're going to track uh, all the animals around the rhinos and based on patterns uh, we're going to be able to to predict if poachers are in the in the area the lower infrastructure which is built for the animal tracking can also be used for other asset tracking use cases like cars, uh, people or mining equipment. So that's the reason, one of the other reasons why we put this in place. Just a couple of words on LoRa. LoRa is like a lightweight, it's a very lightweight protocol. Uh, it's a small payload. It's a non-regulated network. So everybody in the world basically can build his own LoRa network. Um, it's long distance. So if there's no obstructions, it could go up to 60 kilometers. Um, and it's uh, it's low power, so it doesn't need a lot of power uh, on the sensor side because it doesn't broadcast all the time. So uh, long battery life. So the callers we we built for the animals, they have a couple of sensors in there: GPS, accelerometer, magnetometer, temperature. So we can uh, detect if the animal is running, walking, and which direction and so forth. And um, yeah, these, these uh, callers, they last basically up to three to five years. So here is a picture of uh, a zebra being tagged with one of our callers. And uh, here's basically how this whole thing works. So we have, we have these uh, sensors which we track on zebras or wildebeest and other animals. And then we have these gateways which basically transfer the signal uh, to uh, to a wireless um, provider, which then sends the information off to Watson IoT. And we have some, some software there, which takes uh, the lower information and turns it into uh, IoT devices. And then we have dashboards and analytics to, to predict and uh, display the information and then alert the, the authorities. So here's is a, a, a bit more uh, detailed. So we have the devices. They basically send the information to um, uh, via the gateway to an LRC, LRC. That's another kind of app server, which understands the LoRa network protocol, um, and they basically keep track of the communication. And then we basically take this information in and create devices on demand, uh, which are picked up by the LoRa network in in our Watson IoT platform. So um, we're going to go through this in the demo. Here are the devices. Uh, we use uh, or for orchestration or red, and uh, then we can create dashboards and all kinds of stuff. OK, so let me go through the demo here real quick. So here are basically my devices. So I can search for. I, I program the devices so that I have uh, zebras and wildebeest and uh, the system automatically creates these device IDs and if you go in here you can see there's a device ID we add uh, metadata device information so this is a zebra it has some IDs and so forth so that's automatically created in our platform here's our setup and if I go here here you see um, my LSRC bridge, which is basically the part which talks to um, the, the LoRa app servers. And here I can uh, basically ask the system of a status and it gives me back um, what's going on with the system. So here I can see that the MTTT queue is, is active, the LSRC queue, which is a LoRa queue, is active. I see there's some disconnects and copy connects, and I see how many messages are being um, uh, trans transferred. 
yeah, those messages um, we can get in via MQTT in our platform and then basically orchestrate them. So I can just uh, run kind of simulation and then you see those, those messages coming in and then I decipher them and they have all kinds of, of payload and information in there uh, which we can use to, to track the animals. So the more exciting part is actually when you take all that information and map this to a map. This is just Google map here. So hopefully it comes back. So what I did is like I just take the information from the animals and uh, the GPS information, decipher it a bit. And then you can see here's our animals. Let's see. Here's a wildebeest, that's not cool. So what you see them running around here. So, so we have these animals running around. We have at the moment, um, I think we have 11 animals here in the map, but I think in total we have 14 or so tagged. And you can see that they are basically moving out. This is not in, in, in real time, this is like a, um, we get sensor information every two to 10 minutes. Um, and uh, this is just basically a replay of some of the data I captured. Okay, dog, I think this is it. So if you have any questions, let me know and um, be happy to answer any of those. Thanks.